Greetings. Hi. Hello. Welcome back to Siberia. Ugh. Let's talk to Miss Granny here. I think her face is normal again. Thank God. Let's see. Miss Romansky. It's very romantic. Romantic. Yeah, whatever. Hi. Madam Romansky? Madam Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. I've come on behalf of Frank Malkovich. Ah, oh, Malkovich, the old son of a gun. Are you one of his relatives? Not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arrowbad. I'm American, a lawyer. To what do I owe your visit? You have come so far. It must be important. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left. Later, my dear, later. I have a slight headache. This hotel mask, they pinch so. I have to go in. Please, could you be so kind as to call my valet? Your valet? Of course. Your valet. What did I get? Arrowbat? Helena? Helena. Bell. James's Bell. Um, uh, right. Call your valet. Oh. You back here again? How dare you show your damn face round here? Get out of here immediately! Please. I absolutely must find... Miss Romansky! Oh, yes. I'm sorry. She managed to lie her way in here. Don't matter how vigilant you are, there's always one. Uh, but it won't happen again. She'll be out on her ear before you can say, uh... I hope she hasn't upset you too much. Oh, Felix. Stop being such a grizzly bear. This woman is my guest. She's your guest? But that ain't possible. This scandal didn't even know you three hours ago. Be quiet, Felix, before you offend someone. Miss Romansky, please. This maniac turned up earlier and tried to wreck the fountain. Was me. Wasn't for the... I said enough, Felix. Please treat Miss Walker with the respect befitting one of my friends. Don't touch and don't swear. Have I made myself clear, Mr. Smithana? Yes, yes, crystal clear, Madam Romansky. Please do accept my humble apologies. Very good, Felix. You may go now. Bye. I can't blame you. You're just, you're just doing your job. You're right about me trying to... trying to wreck the fountain. Well, I wasn't really trying to wreck the fountain. I was just, If anything, I was just trying to clean it. It's just soap. Also, I kind of did not know you three hours ago. Or until three hours ago, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Anyway, I'll call for your uh, your lover boy. Your valet. I'm assuming it's the, the bell. Which is not here. It is... Uh, is it all the way over here? Bell boy. There you are. I'm assuming this is what you want me to do, right? Oh. <laughs> Playing thing. I can't take it now. No, I can't take my bell back. Nothing happened. Or did some did something happen? No? I don't know why I rang it a second time. Can't take the bell back. Huh. Well, guess that's for something else then. I don't know. Mr. Valet. Mr. Robot. Mr. Put, put your mask back. Actually, no, 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 wait. You should keep it on. 
Can you keep it on? Can you walk around with a mask? Scare Mr. Robot may be like, -la -la -la. Yeah? No? Ah, you gotta put it back. Fine. No point weighing myself down. Right. Indeed, no point in doing such. Hello, Mr. Dude. Mr. What's your name? Were you James? Are you James? James, what are you waiting for? Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. This time? The bell did indeed ring, but it is very windy outside, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is a bit gusty. But what's that got to do with it? Madam doesn't understand. She says an automaton doesn't need protection, but my insides don't like the salty wind. I'm afraid to go out, you know. And if you wore my mask to protect you against the salt, would that help? Oh, most certainly. You breathe? Do you breathe? You're an automaton. Did... You said that he didn't hear the bell this time. Like, was I supposed to ring it from the far end first? Katie Pooh. So, have you met her yet? This Helena person. What would she like? Does she remember Frank? I'm up. Yeah, sure. I met her and yeah, she's living in Arobad. You <coughs> can thank Frank for me again. I'll remember too, honey. So, what's Arobad like? Maybe Frank can take me there one day. It's this seaside resort, Ma, but it isn't what it used to be. You'd be real disappointed. Maybe you're Do you right. Rover said, so what the fuck did you just fucking say about me? Today? You little Not bitch. Not really, Ma. I still haven't I'll found have the air. That's, that's my Discord. Top of my class Helena in the Navy. Holy shit. I'm doing a playthrough. Ma, please, don't get involved. God damn it. hands what I'm being paid for. But I also oh. just want to find it for myself. Honestly, you're just as God damn it takes the speech. Don't complain that your mother didn't warn you. Don't worry. I won't. I'll have to try to edit that out. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> That's because I all tapped. Oh my god. Holy shit. Ah. This is funny and, and awful at the same time. Can I can we just not have that if I leave and come back? No. Well I guess we gotta look at that now. Ain't that lovely? Oh. Well, that's just fucking random, isn't it? No point weighing myself down. No point. All right. I would have never found this. It's only because of your fucking wheelchair. Am it's I gonna have to make a drink? to meet you, Madam Romansky. People have told me so much about you. Hmm. People still talk about me. Oh dear. Of course. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. How you were one of the greatest singers of the century. Ah, so I was, my dear. But surely you didn't come here just to dig up the past. No. True. Um... Walker said to Mr. Robot that Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. Was I supposed to ring the bell from the far side and then come in here and you'd be like, I didn't hear no fucking bell, bitch. And then I would take the bell and move it to the closer. Because then you shouldn't even have given me the option to take the bell. Of course I'm going to take the bell and figure out that I have to put it closer or put it somewhere else or whatever. You know? I don't know, that's kind of weird, but, but, uh, yeah, whatever, who cares? Like I said, I'm a lawyer, and to tell you the truth, I don't know much about classical music. But after talking to Mr. Borodin and Mr. Malkovich, they really made me want to hear you. Oh, you are too late, my child. Ten years too late. And how is dear Frank? Do tell me. Oh, I am still angry with him for leaving like that to America. Don't be offended, but I never suspected those 
cowboys actually have an ear for real music. I don't think he sings much anymore. The odd gala, the odd charity event. Anyway, he sends his love. Oh, his love? <laughs> Do you hear that, James? There is someone who still loves me on the other side of the Atlantic. I never said they didn't, madam. What about this other gentleman? What is his name? Borodin? Do I know him? Yes. You once sang in Comcalsgrad. An incredible recital, if the director's account is anything to go by. If you only knew how moved he still is. He's another one who still adores you. I must confess that seeing one of my greatest admirers once more would do wonders for me, but... Ah, oh, my voice. It is so... Ah, I could... Okay. I'm wrapped up in a case at the moment, and because of it, I met a certain Mr. Sergei Borodin, director of the Komkalsgrad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast. Well, you're saying this like I'm sorry about the noise outside. Also, you're saying this like like we didn't just say the other thing. What am I saying? They all were. Madame Romansky, this Borodin is one of your biggest fans. If you could come and sing for him there. It would make one of his biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my poor girl. I have not sung for years. Time has taken its toll. My voice is like the rest of me. Faded and wan, like my heart. Oh, uh, same. Aren't you going a bit far there? I bet you've still got a great voice. Oh, you are the sweetest cherry, my dear. I am not senile yet, but I look reality in the face every time I look in the mirror, and I can tell you, singing is something... Oh, I did in the past. Sorry, I did not mean to click. You said... I, I said this, then I said this, and you started talking about Borodin or Borodine and Kalkomrlashgrad, like you hadn't just talked about it already. It's really weird how some of the conversations are like that like you'll say number two thing and she'll say that thing like she didn't just say the number one thing I don't know or maybe that's just me help Madam Romansky please understand I would never have come so far to disturb you if I didn't really need your help I understand my dear but my health is failing me as does my voice believe me no one is sadder than I my health is failing me, as does my voice. See, you read your line wrong. It was supposed to be, my health fails me, as does my voice. That makes sense, the way you said it didn't. But I still love you. Let's talk about Hans. Strange. I get the impression that Hans Vorlberg turned up here, too. You know Hans Vorlberg? Oh, yeah, Not exactly. I'm looking for him to sort out this inheritance case. But I've had to snoop around in his past a bit to get on his trail. And I guess he's kind of a close friend now. You knew him, didn't you? Oh, yes. I knew Hans Wollerberg. Do you hear, James? Oh, if you had had the chance to meet Hans. My Hans. Oh, my God. What has become of him? Where is he? As questions go, madam, that one is not without certain complications. I'm sorry, but I have no idea. That's the goal of my mission, to find Hans Varlberg. That's why I have to get back to my train as quickly as possible and to get out of Komkalsgrad. And you cannot find him without the train? The train is one of his last inventions. So is Oscar, the automaton engineer. I get the feeling that the two of them are going to lead me to him. Did you hear that, James? I might see Hans again. I have dreamed so long of meeting my dearest sweetheart again. Oh, if only I could sing. If only I were in Paris, I would ask George for that miracle cocktail. The one that only he knew how to make. Wouldn't I, James? Yes, I have to make a cocktail. as you have frequently said, Without that famous cocktail, your French tour would have probably been cancelled. I don't understand. 
An extraordinary tale, my dear. It was December, and it was terribly cold and damp. I had to play the role of Tatiana that evening at the opera. But since the morning, I had lost my voice. It drove me completely mad with worry. I don't know how George, the barman at the Moritz Hotel, heard about my affliction, but he brought me up a cocktail that he had invented. A strange concoction. But it turned out to be a miracle cure. My voice returned to me in an instant. That's amazing. That's just what we need. We're going to mix you up a cocktail. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, my dear child. It is impossible. <coughs> George never told me the recipe of the drink. He loved to keep his trade secrets. He said it made him absolutely irreplaceable. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> going to get George to tell me. He hasn't yet met with my powers of persuasion. Was that all the Hans thing? Or did I pick the train? Was this all Hans? Uh. Look, please, you absolutely have to come with me to Kamfelsgrad. It's the only way I'm going to get my train back and be able to carry on my journey. Your train? That's right. I've been traveling on this amazing locomotive with say this, this automaton I? engineer. Do you hear that, James? An automaton? You have a twin brother? How delightful. And I thought I was the only person alive able to put up with such a peculiar butler. But no. Permit me to express my surprise, madam. <coughs> Surely the fact that I remain in your service guarantees my uniqueness. Oscar isn't my butler, though. He has a great independence of thought. Sometimes he does whatever suits him. Just like you, James. Isn't that funny? Madam, we'll not be surprised to hear that she is strongly advised not to undertake a journey that, unless I am very much mistaken, will tire her needlessly. James, only one of us will make that decision, and that person is me. I'm very curious to meet your automaton, my dear. Where is it? He had to stay with the train in Kamkalsgrad. The director used his hands for the final touches on his pianist. It's the same pianist that will accompany you when you sing. How quaint. Another automaton. And this one can he even play along with me? Play for me? Ah, why does my voice abandon me so now? You must have had a fantastic life. So exhilarating. Ah, much more than you could ever imagine. I used to sing the finest melodies of the moment in the most fantastic theaters around the world. I have been hailed by kings and courted by princes. Grown men would sink to their knees when they heard the first notes of my recital. My voice could break crystal glass and hearts, many hearts. I'm not surprised. Then one day sickness steals away the gift life has given you. My voice started to betray me. I started to get migraines. My health failed. They sent me here to let the spa town weave its healing spell. I was only going to rest for a month, but then the month became a year and the years get longer. But you look so healthy to me. Oh, thank you, my dear. Right. Well, I, I think I need to make you a cocktail. I'll let you get a bit of rest. Thank you for listening to me. It was a real pleasure, my child. You are a charming young lady. And that you are. Talking to you has warmed my soul. Oh yeah, bro, it's Kate Walker. Can I use this now? Oh. Uh, glass. No. Oh. Uh. Champagne. Cognac. I. I don't understand. Uh, nope. I don't understand.
lemon. I wonder oh, we, how that works. We need to put the lemon there. I wonder how. Can we put the? Yeah. <laughs> Cow. Is that power? Yep. Yep, it is. We have no lemon. Whoop. You play music to make drinks? Yeah, this still does not make sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we would just have to click seven. One, two, three, four. Or do we need do we need what it points at? Or we need like tequila and rum because they're red or do they just show what's the last in the thingy thing do we need vodka because that's what we actually have so we would need to like go to go to this and click this I don't know I don't know shaky 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 Oh shit, that makes the drink. Bottoms up, madam. It smells good, doesn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what backwater of hell did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison me? It's shit. a uh, a blue Helena. What the fuck is, is that? Possible. The blue Helena had a color that was like a and an aroma like um, you understand its texture was not quite so um, one thing is for certain this is no blue helena make an effort my child sorry right. i guess i'll try out another mix <laughs> just keep trying till you get it right no we have the uh we have the shit here also uh, there we go the, what is that? That looks weird. Alright. What do we got here? Crystallized honey. And a lemon. Crystallized honey. Crystallized. There we go. You go here. It, uh. Why can I take that back? See, that makes something suspicious, because I can't take this back, nor can I take this back, but I can take this back. I... I don't know. Maybe that's just, uh... Shit. Nice. So, uh, no, I, uh, mm. Do we have, like, does it say anywhere what kind of drink she likes? Habba dabba dabba da, habba schnippa schnappa schnoo. It says nothing about blue Helena here, does it? Frank Malkovich. That's the dude, huh? Is that what, what what gave away that you should call your mother? Because of Frank Milk? I don't know. Gosh, you boys should be sure. Got better, better go, better go. Right. And it, no, it wouldn't say shit there. And the letters. It's 
talk about bl Blue Helena. No, that's the dude, that's the guy, Bordine, writing to her. Why does he have his own letters that he tried to send to her? I don't know, it's fucking weird. I guess they got returned to him or something. Uh, how the fuck would we know? Who was, who was the bartender? And can we call... I don't know. How do we find out the recipe? I'm so confused. I'll try to go around and talk to people. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh. Hey. I'm sorry to disturb you. Yeah, I think I can thrust with my queen through there. Unless... I can see that I'm disturbing you. Uh, hey, no, 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 check in two moves. Hmm. Maybe I'll squeeze him with my bishop instead. Nothing like a good squeeze from a bishop. Okay, I wouldn't like to disturb you any longer. But I would. Excuse me, could you just... Oof, I must confess I am flummoxed. That defense there, a real conundrum. I really could do with... Right hook with the knight? Nope. He's gonna follow through with that castle. Okay. Got the picture. Thanks a lot. I <laughs> Excuse me. I really yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, is this is this a way we can go? Water. Water. What? That made it... Doesn't look like that works. Oh. It looked like you made it not crystallize, but... Bubbles! Actually, maybe we make... Oh, so crystallize because it is... Is like frozen. And now... And now we're, now we're gonna heat it up. Ah. Yeah. So the recipe needs honey. It needs lemon. It needs, I guess, vodka. Because we have the vodka. I, I don't know what else it needs. I don't know where to find the recipe. Or if we have it. or I, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't want to keep trying random shit. <sighs> Is it tequila and rum? Yeah, I'll try uh, some different things and try to figure it out. And I, I don't know. Ah, this is bad. See, now I can't take it. Now you know it's good. That's all. We have all the ingredients we need. Now to find out what the fuck to do. All right. Ten million recipes later. Not really. Um tried some different things I tried to make sense of this fucking thing I can't I don't know what the fuck I think it's just hinting me at which is which and I have to try to find out a re recipe somewhere somehow I don't know where I looked the walkthrough up and he just did something and I'm just gonna do what he did and yeah if I remember uh turns on And then, no, no, shit, it was supposed to be the other way. Ah, fuck. Oh my god, it smells like fucking shit. <gasps> yeah, I know. Okay, so you're here, so he, he clicked. And then, dude, dude, I don't know why. I don't know why those two. So this is number three. That one was number two. Meaning it's. Wait, that that was. This was this was number three. 
which is schnapps. This one's number two, which is red wine or champagne. And it's, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I, I, I don't know. I give up. Anyway, he, he, what did he do? Lemon. some of this and some ice and you shake it god I hope this works I have tried way too many times lady I don't know where I got this recipe from please drink it oh my gosh she's drinking it That is atrocious. Horrific. What? It was too good to be true. George's blue Helena is powerless. Ineffective on the voice of an old woman. But your well, voice you sounded good. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. You've just got to get your confidence back. Hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are a sniveling little creep. <laughs> Hostile old ass, dumb ass cunt. Fuck you. What the fuck? The blue Helena really does have a magical effect. Your voice is sensational. I am not convinced. If my voice has really returned, it is not ready. It is still not powerful enough. I tell you you're wrong. The Calm Calls grad director is going to be amazed. My dear, how little you know. I remember a time, madam, when you would test your vocal prowess by breaking crystal tableware and decorations. Cri oh, ah, crystal. those were the days. <laughs> Shards of crystal. I could never do that now. Let's see about that, huh? Why don't we? No? Oh. Why here? That's random, I just... I couldn't... I could have... Ended up never seeing just this... Th Do it again. Sing. Sing for me. My voice. Please work. What have I done? My voice has returned. Did you yes. hear that, James? My voice... My voice has returned. Your voice is still as magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget, you're no spring chicken these days. Time has taken its toll. And you're not the toy boy you once were either, James. I hope you have fun on your own. Madam... Leaving you is quite out of the question. Don't be stupid, James. What would you do there? Your place is here. You must prepare my return. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionalities. Maybe you're right, madam. As ever. Do I understand correctly that you're going to go with me to Comcallsgrad? You do, my dear. We're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away. I'll go back to the airship to prepare my departure. You can join me there when you're ready. James, take me to my room. I must prepare. Quick, quick. What are you waiting quick. for? My fans are waiting for me. Are you sure you're sure about this, madam? Shut up, James, and put your foot on it. Oh yeah, the wheelchair is normal now. <laughs> All right. Don't want to 
want to clean this up? Nah, let's just go to the airship. Or are we supposed to go with her? Or no, are we supposed to go to the airship. <sighs> let's go to the airship. We made it. We somehow made it. Talk to you? No. It's gonna be nothing to say. Airship would be over here. Yeah. I'm guessing she's she's just gonna come on her own or something. Guess we'll see. Do, 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 do. Of course. Phone call. Hello? Hi, it's me, Olivia. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, <laughs> tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that romance chick? You don't think it's dragging out too long? Oh, no. I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? Oh, no. You answer my question, that's so unlike you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue... Oh, blue no. Blue? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. Oh, I've no. something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I... I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Olivia, tell me what's going on. What about Dan? Has something happened to him? I am weak. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right in your situation. I. What? After the Goldbergs, Dan took me home. We were a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap, and then. Okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. All my fault. I could never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for ages, because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but but then we got so close lately and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I Kate, the guilt is killing me. I wanna die. Good. Look, don't bust a gut over it. Shut the fuck up. You and Dan, it's it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I need to process this new bit of data. Are you like some automaton or something? Yeah. Kate, please. I'm hanging up now. Yeah. I want to be on my own. Just leave that bitch to her misery. Also, you, I, I uh, leave Dan. Fucking tell him he's a dumb cunt and just fucking leave him. And don't ever talk to Olivia again. Just be a badass bitch who does adventures and shit. You'll find a nice guy who can appreciate you at some point. For fuck's sake, I don't like this whole cheating thing. I hate that topic. Not that it's like, I just don't like it.
kłócić czornie, oczy strasznie, oczy kłócie i prekrasnie, jak ja mógł ja was, jak bojąc ja was, znać ją widzę was, ja w niej dobry czas. Oczy czornie, oczy strasznie, oczy kłócie.